Hey guys, I'm Viper, and welcome to a brand new video, as you can see on screen, it's the Brazilian Grand Prix Preview. So we've had 19 races out of this 21 race season, and we're currently on, we're going to be on race 20. Now, at this weekend, as I'm sure most people are aware by now, Nico Rosberg could easily seal up the championship this weekend, providing Lewis does not finish first or second, I think, if he finishes second, as in Hamilton finishes second, then Ros and Rosberg wins. Rosberg wins the race and the championship, uh, obviously. And then you've got, if Lewis finishes second, Rosberg needs to finish like below him, which probably won't happen considering the uh, circumstances of the Mercedes, but nevertheless. Just gonna give a quick background history. So the track itself is only roughly about two and a half miles long, 71 laps, doesn't really, never really reaches the two hour race limit. We've seen quite a few titles be decided, a bit, a bit like Japan, we've seen quite a few title deciders here in the past, uh, mainly 2007, 2008, uh, and of course most in recent times, 2012. So, the thing is, with this sort of track, we've also, I mean, 2009 was another title decider, I mean, Jensen Button won his first and only title. Uh, there with Braun, of course. Everybody remembers that day, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, like I said, we've seen quite a few good, decent races, and it's been quite action packed on some races. Some have been quite boring. Uh, 2011, for example, 2013. Uh, actually, 2000, I think 2011, 2013, and the last two years haven't been all too great in terms of action. Uh, 2012 was great. 2010 was okay. Not as, not bad, but it wasn't great neither. Uh, 2009 was okay, mediocre. Uh, the best ones, probably in my opinion, were uh, the obvious one being 2003, which you can see on the screen as the cars we're using. Uh, 2003, where uh, Mark Webber had that horrendous accident and Alonso smashed into his car afterwards. Uh, 2007, which saw Kimi Raikkonen emerge as champion, uh, despite being like 17 points behind with two races to go. Uh, and that all, that all changed and he won, uh, the, I think, the last race in Brazil, you know, I don't remember winning China, he might have done, but nevertheless it was quite interesting. And in 2008 with Hamilton winning the, chi the title, the championship, uh, on the last corner of the last lap uh, with Timo Glock and the famous words with, Is that Glock going slowly? It is, it's Glock! You know, the, the, them famous words, I'm sure every Hamilton fan probably will remember. Unless you're too young, then you probably won't remember it. Nevertheless. 2012, great race. Like I said we saw it's all Vettel and Alonso fight the whole entire season to the death. The thing is, though, there's one thing just to mention. This is what I'm going to mention now with these with my predictions for this weekend. Lewis Hamilton has never really had a good run at Interlagos, similar to that of Rubens Barrichello. He got so close, but you know it was close, but no cigar. And Rubens Barrichello missed several opportunities. 1999, his engine went. Uh, right on the home straight and that put him out of contention. 2003 he was leading, uh, had a mechanical failure, you know, and he's had a bad run ever since. And the same with Lewis Hamilton, he's come to Inter Lagos, never won. Uh, he's always had bad luck, uh, 2007 he had the engine thing. 2008, even though he did have good luck there winning the title, but never actually won the race. He's never won at Inter Lagos, I don't think anyway. Uh, Rosberg's won the past two years, Vettel's won. Uh, twice back in 2010 and 2013, and obviously uh, Jensen Button won the last race in McLaren 2012. Anyway, that with that out of the way, prediction time. Who do I think will get pole and who do I reckon will finish in the top five for this weekend? Well, pole position, I'm going to say Lewis Hamilton, because he seems to be on form quite a bit with the qualifying stuff, so I'm going to go for him for pole position, but who do I think will win the race? I'm going to say Rosberg will win the race and, you know, he'll tie up the championship here rather than take it to Abu Dhabi where he'll do, you know, finish the job supposedly. I think he'll win the, the championship here by winning the race. Lewis will finish a close second, then we'll have, I'm going to be balls and say, well, I'm going to say Daniel Ricciardo third, uh, Sebastian Vettel fourth, and then fifth place, Valtteri Bottas. And yeah, that is everything today guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the like button if you did enjoy. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new. And until next time, I've been Vibracing. You guys have been all awesome watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. ta -ra.